Okay, uh, hello everyone, welcome. Uh, today I'm going to show you how you can uh, encrypt your uh, or do an encrypted void installation. This is uh, going to do the UI, UEFI because I did the legacy one. Uh, okay, let's try and do this. I did this on my uh, my machine. So I'm going to do this on a, a VM so I can show you. It's exactly the same thing. Nothing to change. Nothing changed. Or it's exactly the same thing that I did with my machine. I'm going to do in this virtual machine. Okay. Uh, let me just here because this is a VM. So I'm going to change the resolution. Of course, if you, if you want to try this on a VM just to be sure and you can try it okay let's change i'm going to change my keyboard because i have a french keyboard so control x to save and boot i have the documentation on my laptop so i can look at it if i miss something or Okay, now we boot it. So let's log in as root, and the password is Void Linux. Of course, let me just uh, make uh, the font a bit bigger. Install dash s. Let's just update our repositories and update xbps. Okay, xbps dash install dash u xbps. So we can update the package manager first. Okay, now let's uh, install a font. Install. Let's install Terminus font. I'm going to install a text editor. In my case, it's Vim, so you can install uh, any text editor you feel like using, because we're going to need that text editor. Okay, now uh, let's me just set the font so you can see better. Uh, I think it's V32 and it's gonna be big. Yes. Okay, now I hope you can see this. That's clear. The terminal, or the console. And let's do let's uh, do LSBLK so you can see. I have a, a VDA. Let me just get the mouse as you can see. VDA 10 gigs disk. Okay. Let's do. I'm going to use CF disk for this. Uh, 
okay you can use the f disk or anything you want of course we want gpt not dos but gpt i'm going to make two partitions the one is the the efi uefi or efi and going to give it 100 meg or 128 let's give it 128 meg okay and type is going to be efi and the other one is going to i'm going to leave it uh, the whole the whole thing for the root partition you can create a home partition or swap or whatever you want just to make sure that you get, you get that uh, those partitions correctly i'm gonna of course the type is uh, linux file system that's good i'm going to write these changes and quit let's do ls blk again so you can see we made two partitions first one is vda it might be different for you okay mine is vda1 vda2 okay first one is the efi one and second one is the root partition okay now let's uh, try and uh, encrypting our partitions okay gonna to crypt uh, crypt setup okay and loop lux and okay format and dash dash type and lux cost lux one and slash dev and slash vda and we want to encrypt the second partition vda2 make sure that it's vda2 with the root partition not the efi one okay and hit enter is gonna ask you for to confirm with the uppercase yes and enter a passphrase okay you can enter a very long passphrase and verify the passphrase again okay now we want to open that uh, device that we uh, encrypted so let's open it clip setup and lux lux open a capital o don't forget that open and slash dev vda2 okay and we want to call it a uh, void vm you can call it whatever you want you just call it void vm okay and it's gonna ask you for passphrase the passphrase that you entered before and just type it and hit enter now we want to create a lvm uh, volume group using this uh, okay vg create create void vm the name and dev mapper void vm okay okay as you can see successfully created created successfully and now let's uh, create uh, that uh, root partition LV create dash dash name and root and dash l small l not uh, okay and we want to do 100 percent because i want to use 100 percent of this not uh, if you uh, create a home partition and the root partition you might wanna you might wanna specify how much you want to use for the root partition and for the home partition and the swap also uh, everything is in the documentation just uh, okay as you can see i hit enter the volume is created now let's make our file system okay mkfs.txt txt4 and dash l capital l root 
and slash dev dev and dev if I can type correctly void vm and slash root okay okay we're create we're making the file system all right the file system was made successfully now we need to mount uh, our uh, root uh, to the mnt mount slash dev and void vm root to slash to slash mnt okay and if you want to uh, if you created a, a home partition you need to mount that also okay everything is in the documentation now let's go to the other device uh, uh, the device that we created which is the uafi okay now let's make fs that's vfat vfat slash dev and bda1 okay and now let's mount it and let's make a directory first make here dash p and slash mnt slash boot and efi okay now let's mount dev vda1 and slash mnt slash boot slash efi okay now let's make a, a directory or copy the uh, the R rsa key okay mk dir dash p uh, let's make a directory first to copy that uh, key to mnt and var slash db and xbps keys okay now let's copy slash var var slash db slash xbps slash keys and slash style because we want to copy everything slash mnt mnt let's get that correctly and val slash db xbps slash keys okay make sure you type that correctly and hit enter and okay that's good now let's install the base system okay xbps dash install minus sy dash capital r and https colon slash slash repo dash default dot void void linux dot org slash current and space dash r and mnt and space and we want to install the base system base dash system and lvm2 of course and crypt setup of course too and uh, this is for UEFI, so we want to grub dash x86 uh, dash uh, underscore 64 and then dash EFI. Okay, this is only for uh, UEFI. Okay. and hit enter of course it's going to download uh, all of this stuff 373 megs 
it will take a little bit of a little bit of time so I'll, I'll probably cut the video and uh, come back when it finishes okay now the, the download and the installation finished so let's get the going now we need to configure our system so let's do let's shroot into x shroot slash mnt okay okay we're entering shroot so let's do shown and root colon root and slash okay now schmod and 705555 and a slash and let's give the root a password password wd and the root give it the password repeat the password okay updated successfully now let's give a host name let's just to echo the host name and we'll call it uh, void vm so echo that to slash etc and slash hostname okay you can call it whatever you want now uh, this next step is is for glibc just only glibc because this is a glibc download i downloaded glibc version i didn't download the muscle one so if you download the muscle you need you don't need to do this but okay i'm going just to configure the locale and lang equal en underscore us dot utf dash eight and okay i'm going to echo that to slash etc slash local dot conf and do this again uh, en underscore us dot utf dash eight and utf dash eight dash eight dash eight not nine and let's just because this file is not empty so slash etc and default slash lib c dash local locals locals hit enter and xpps now it's reconfigure xpps decon dash f and glibc dash locals okay now configuration success fully now let's configure our file system so we need to edit uh, the fs tab so that's why i installed vim earlier so vim slash etc slash fs tab fs tab oh i think uh, i need to reinstall it again slash install vim yes because now i did a shroot into the mnt so vim is not present now we need to uh, configure our file system so to do that let me just do lsplk as you can see now let's uh, configure our file system use uh, your the editor that you installed and let's edit the 
slash etc fs tab okay and go down and do slash dev void vm and slash and root okay and a slash and space and and here we type ext4 because uh, this is an ext4 system file system and of course we type default defaults and uh, of course for the dump it's zero and uh, the pass it's zero so now if you create the a home partition you need to add that also or or swap you need to add that too and because this is a, a UEFI system, I need to add the, the other device, which is VDA1. And that's going to be a slash boot slash EFI. And that, of course, it's a VFAT. And default. And of course, it's zero zero. And uh, make sure that you typed everything correctly. And save and exit. Okay. Now we need to configure a grub. Let's uh, just edit uh, the grub config etc slash grub. I think it's default. slash grub okay we need to add I think I need to add a line after this one this is grub underscore enable and underscore create setup now create to disk crypt one T to disk. Okay, and equals yes, Y, just yes or Y. Just type Y. Okay, that's let's save and exit. And now let's uh, do block ID dash O value dash S and UUID slash dev and VDA2 this is the UUID of course we're going to need that uh, so we can edit uh, again edit the slash etc default slash grub to add uh, our UUID No, I didn't. M slash etc slash default slash grub. Okay, make sure that you typed everything correctly. So to get my UUID, I need if you can uh, type it in your uh, with that pen and paper. That's good. For me, I just read the block ID. Block ID, read it. I'm get, I get everything. So, the thing I'm interested in is VDA two. Let me just get the mouse. That's this is the UUID I'm interested in. So I'm going to delete everything else. Let's delete everything. Okay, let's. All I'm interested is in the number, not the. Okay. Let's clean this up.
let's go over here let's go to the end and let's type rd.lvm.vg equals void vm then rd space rd dot lux and I think that uuid id and it equals the uuid that we let's paste it in here paste it in here uh, of course we need to close this okay make sure that you typed everything correctly that's I think I typed everything correctly so I'm going to save and exit okay let me just clear the terminal clear. now we need to Uh, add our uh, key so we so we don't have to type our password twice or our passphrase twice so let's do dd bs equals one and count equals 64 and if our input file dev you random random and uh, output file equals boot and volume volume that key we should see some output okay that's good now we need to add our key so crypt crypt set up lux and add capital A and capital K slash dev slash VDA two and slash dev slash boot not boot slash volume that key and enter our passphrase if this is giving you an error that means uh, that you made a mistake of the device as you can see this is the root partition now let's uh, do schmod and zero zero triple zero and space slash boot slash volume that key make sure you type everything correctly and schmod dash capital R dash capital R and G dash R read write and execute okay and O dash read and write execute and slash build okay now we need to also add uh, our uh, key file to the crypt tab okay so do vim slash etc slash slash crypt and tab tab okay let me just make sure that I typed it correctly vim slash etc and slash crypt tab so I typed it correctly so Okay, that means I mistyped it the first time. 
So, so void vm. Let's do a tab dev slash dev slash vda. Okay, make sure that it, the device is added, which is VDA1. This is the EFI. So, slash boot, slash volume, slash key, and lux. Because this is VDA2, the EFI. Yeah, it's VDA1. Not, I didn't make a mistake, so that's cool. Now, now we need to include that uh, crypt tab in our init RAMFS. So we need to create a, a new file. Let's do vim slash etc slash dry cut dot conf dot d and slash ten dash crypt dot conf. Okay, make sure that's correctly okay now we need to do install underscore underscore items plus equal and space boot and slash volume that key key space slash etc slash crypt tab uh, space and okay that's good let's save and exit now let's uh, to complete the installation we need to install grub so let's just do grub this is easy grub install and our device slash pda slash dev on vda Okay, it's going to install Grub. Of course, this is uh, installing the for the EFI. Okay, no errors reported, so that's good. That means Grub is installed. Now we need to generate our init RAMFS. Just make sure that it generated correctly. So dash XBPS dash reconfigure figure and dash FA. Okay, type enter, hit enter. Okay, now uh, the, we installed everything, so now we need to exit out, the, out of the Shroot environment. So now let's U mount, let's own mount, unmount, slash R and slash MNT. Okay, hit enter, and now last thing we need to do is reboot our system and see if everything was successful 
I'm going to hit enter and Okay. Let's wait and make it full screen. It should ask me for my passphrase. Okay, now let's type my passphrase. Hit enter. And should boot. Hit enter and it's loading. Okay. It's loading. Let's see. Oh shit. I think it's given me to confirm twice. Oh, I think I made a mistake in the crypt tab. Should be let's let's fix that. Just log in as a root and let's let me just load my keyboard and let's do vim slash etc slash crypt tab I think it should be VDA2 yeah replace because the it has to be the root partition not the okay just replace that with the your root partition and now let's do we need to reconfigure everything again reconfigure dash fa uh, just reconfigure we need ram fs i need to enter Okay, now let's do a reboot and see if we fix that. It should only ask us once. Let's type our passphrase. Okay, let's hit enter and see if it's ask us again. Okay, it didn't ask us, so it's we're booting into void. So let's log in as root. Let's do some configuration. Okay, first thing, let's let me just install a font. And let me load my keyboard first. And let's install a font so we can see better. Let's do xpps dash install tall minus s and the terminus dash font. Oh, we don't have network. Yeah. Okay, we need to set that up. So let me just clear the term. Clear the terminal and uh, I think it's by default the network wouldn't wouldn't work because we this is not a normal installation so so we should have uh, if I do less ls slash etc and sv services sv if I list that I should have dhcp cd yes I do. Let me just get the mouse as you can see this is we need to enable that so we need to link it to the vast last services so if I show you let's as you can see we don't have any DHCP CD okay let's do ln minus minus s 
going to basically sim length ATC SV and DH CPCD. I'm going to link that to slash bar and slash service. Okay, let's do that. And let's do SV up, service up, and DH CPCD. Okay, we should have network now, XPPS. Let's install, let's just sync our repositories. Okay, that's good. Let's do XPPS dash install minus, let's do tennis dash font. Yes. Okay, let's set our font. So I'm going to do it in a, let's use my editor, etc, rc.conf. I'm also going to do the keyboard. Where is this thing? Okay, it's here. Key map, it's gonna be fr and fonts. I'm going to change this to turn dash v38. 32 not 38 and and remove the comment okay now let's save and exit and uh, let's reboot shall we reboot again let's type our best phrase It enter Okay, that's good. Uh, the font is set. So Let's log in as root. Uh, this next step, you don't have to do it because this is a VM, so I'm going to do it so I can get the resolution correct. Slash crop. Okay, let me do it in here. Let's do it in here. Let's do it at the end. Video equals nineteen twenty ten eighty. Okay, that's good. Save and exit. Now let's do grub. Slash MK config. Slash O slash boot slash grub slash grub dot CFG again don't do this step because just for the VM so I can get the resolution. Oh well, that's good. Everything is correct. So this next one we need to do. Uh, you need to add a user, so just you do user add and uh, we want to add this one to the wheel group so dash m and capital g wheel and uh, the username okay and let's give that user a password pass wd and the user and give it a password okay now let's reboot
Okay, now uh, I think I need to log in as root this time because I forgot to uh, to give that user permissions. So let's do editor ter equals uh, choose your editor and vi sudo. Okay, uh, I think I need to go to the bottom. Yeah, let's go in here. Let's do this one so I don't have to type my password each time. Save and quit. Now let's exit and log in as the, the new user. So type the password and it should be logged in. Let's so let's see if it can do sudo xpps let's install and dash s and let's install htop and new fetch okay we can install that let's do bash dash completion and c matrix c matrix so we can and that's good let's do neo fetch okay let's go let's see edge top and and let's mean that do lsblk as you can see we have in our encrypted thing our encrypted device in here okay that's good I think that's it for this uh, this video thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next one